Hello everybody. In this episode of Programming Algorithms, we're going to look at a way of sorting the data. So if we have an array like this, and the numbers are not in order, is there a way we can move the data around to put it in order? Now, there's a load of ways we could do it. We can see as a human being that the order is 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. But if there's 10,000 elements in the array, it would be a little bit more difficult to do as a human being. The easiest way algorithmically to do it is as follows. It's called bubble sort. And it works like this. You, you have two values. You start off at the zeroth and the first element. And you look at if the right element is, is bigger than the left element. If it's bigger, we don't do anything. But if the right element is smaller, then we swap these two around. So that's the zero and the first. Now we go on to the first and the second. Are those two in the right order as they are? Well, nine is bigger than four, so they're perfect. They're in the correct order. Now let's move on to these two. Nine and six. Nine is bigger than six, so we should swap these two around like this. Let's move on to the next two, three and four. Nine and eight. Are they in the right order? No, they're not, so we need to swap them around. Move on to the next two, four and five. Are they in the right order? No, they're not. And nine and two. They're not in the right order, so we've pushed. We've done one pass through the array. We haven't actually got the whole array sorted, but we have got is the number nine is in its correct position. When we get to here, we go back to the start again and look at the first and second element again. They are in the correct order. The lowest one is to the left, the higher one to the right. We look at the next two, they're in the correct order. We look at the next two, they're in the correct order. With the next two, they're out of order. So we swap these two guys around and then these two. We swap them around and then these two, they're in the correct order again. So that's our second pass through the list. And it's kind of looking like it's getting in some better order. Let's go to start again. Those two are in the correct order. Those two are in the correct order. Those two are not, so we swap them around. The next two are not, so we swap them around. The next two are in the correct order. That is to say that the right one is bigger than the left. And the next two are in the correct order, because again, the right one is bigger than the left. We go back and do another pass. Those two are in the correct order. Those two are in the correct order. Those two are not, so we swap these two around. Those two are in the correct order. Those two and those two. We do another pass. Those two are in the correct order. Those two need to get swapped around. Those are in the correct order. Those are, those are, those are. We can go again just for fun. Those two are in the correct order. Those two are, those two are, those two are, those two are, and those two are. So then we know everything is in the correct order. So just to note, if the length of the array is seven, is seven, that means we go from zero to six as normal. If I'm using those two counters to go across, I go one, two, three, four, five, six passes each time. One, two, one, two, four, five, six passes each time I go across. And then the number of times I should do it is really six times. And then I'll have got the whole of the array covered. So I have to loop around a bunch of times each pass. I do that a number of times and then the array gets sorted. So that's a simple explanation of how bubble sort works. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.